In this series, I'm going to be talking to you all about how to plan, shoot, and edit a music video, and all of the mistakes that you want to avoid when you're making a music video. So without wasting any more time, in today's video, we're gonna jump straight in with pre-production. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, we're talking all about the pre-production process of making a music video. Now, pre-production is the planning phase before shooting and making a music video. So before you even touch a camera, before you even think about anything, you want to plan out your music video and you want to take into account your actors, your story, your concept, the color scheme, everything. You want to plan this down to a T and you want to finish the music video in your mind before you even touch the camera. So the first step of pre-production is to listen to the track and to figure out a rough plan of what you're going to do to turn this track into a video. So is this going to be performance based? Is this going to be storyline based? or is it going to be a mixture of the two? Now, personally, I find the best music videos are a perfect balance in between story and performance. If you only include performance shots within your music video, chances are the viewer's going to get a little bit bored of your video and they're gonna click away. But at the same time, they didn't come for a short film. So by mixing performance shots and storyline shots, you're going to be able to create an interesting music video. And now once you've figured out your perfect balance of performance shots and storyline shots, you need to get this down onto paper. Now, there's two different ways that you can do this. You can either write this down in a shot list or you can write this down onto a storyboard. A shot list is a basic list of all the shots that you're going to need throughout the day to complete the music video. And a storyboard is similar to a shot list in a sense that it breaks down all of the shots required, but rather than just writing the shot, there's a drawing of each shot that you need to capture from the day. And this makes it really easy for you to see what you need to capture on the day. Now, of course, every director and every cinematographer is completely different and not every director will require an exact shot list or an exact storyboard. But it's still really important to jot down key scenes and key shots that you're going to need to capture throughout the day because when you're on shoot, things can get a little bit crazy and if you don't have it down on paper, then you can end up forgetting it and you end up missing a shot that you're going to need to complete the video. Does the story that you've planned out contain any characters? And if so, you're going to need actors for these. Now you can find actors for your music video by asking your friends, you can ask your family, you can go to local universities and see if they've got an acting degree and see if you can speak to some of the students. Or you could go to casting websites like castingcall.com and StarNow and you can host online digital auditions and you can find your cast online. It's super important that the actor perfectly fits your character you don't just want to find someone okay, you want to try and find someone perfect for the role. So make sure you spend time in the casting process to find the right people for the job. Now, once you have your actors and you have your cast ready to go, you need to think about location. And this is going to be a lot to do with your budget. If you've got a very small budget, then you're not going to be able to spend loads of money on location. So you're gonna to have to speak to friends, family, or pull in favors from people that you know to see if you can borrow their houses, their gardens, their workplace. Now, if you do have a larger budget, then I would seriously recommend putting a decent amount of money into a good location because a good location makes for a good music video. It makes a real difference. So now that you've got your story, your actors, and your location all nailed down, you need to go ahead and think about a color palette. Choosing a color palette for your video can really help to change the mood of your video and it can really help to add character to your story. So if you want a colder music video, then I would seriously recommend using colder colors like blues and purples. If you want a warm and lovely music video, then I would seriously recommend shifting towards the warmer colors. So you've got reds, oranges and yellows. Or if you don't want to color the video by feel, you can always look at the brand colors of the artist. If the artist you're working with has a red and a yellow logo, for example, try and introduce red and yellow into the music video because this is going to tie the music video to the artist and this is just gonna make them feel really synced and connected. So you've got your story, you've got your actors, you've got your location, you've figured out a color palette. Now you need to try and find a camera and some crew to shoot the music video with you. So you want to try and find somebody to direct the music video. You want to try and find a camera operator and then you also want to find an assistant or a runner. It's the director's duty to follow the shot list, follow the storyboard, and make sure that everybody on set is working towards the same goal. So it's super important to have a director. Now it's also really important to have a camera operator, obviously, but you don't just want a camera operator. You want to try and find a DOP, that's a director of photography. 
A director of photography will take your video to the next level because they're going to be able to think about different camera techniques. They're gonna be able to think about different ways to shoot it that you might not have thought of. So a really good camera operator and DOP is super important for your music video. And then lastly, you need a runner or an assistant. And this is really important because when you're shooting the music video, you have limited time, but you need to get something done. It's really useful having an extra set of hands to be able to go and do that job for you whilst you take care of the creative process. Now, once you've got your cast and your crew, you've got your location, the budget is all sorted, the story is ready to go. It's time to put this onto a call sheet and send this out to everybody involved within the music video shoot. Now, for those that don't know, a call sheet is just a really simple document that you should have before every single shoot that outlines the schedule, the shoot time, the shoot date, the shoot location, contact numbers for all cast and crew involved, just general information that everybody is going to need throughout the day to be where they need to be at the right time. So once you've completed your call sheet and you've sent this out to everybody involved, it's now time to start shooting the music video. So join me in the next video where we're going to talk about the production phase of shooting a music video. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe by pushing that circle icon up there. And also check out the previous video by clicking this box just down here.